All right, today we're gonna to be working on soleus. So if you go look up a video we've done on soleus raises, so the soleus is that endurance muscle of your calf. So you have your gastrocnemius, which think that is kind of your sprint and pop and jump muscle. Your soleus is a fat oxidative, primarily around 80% of the energy consumption is of a slow oxidative nature. And um, it's kind of the second heart of our lower extremity. So it's the kind of thing that pumps the blood, keeps us moving, keeps us hiking. We like to call it the dad calf muscle. It's gonna add that girth to your lower leg. What we wanna do here is, is take that drill. So go look at that original video of that soleus raise where we're keeping the knee bent. We're trying to hit a metric of where we like to see people to do one set of 30 without bouncing or four sets of 20 with about 30 seconds of rest. That's just kind of a, uh, can you do a set of 30 if you're a normal you know, lay person? If you're trying to run, you need to be able to do about four sets of 20 with a little rest so we can see that you have some endurance. So check out that video. Today I wanna show, well, how can we challenge this a little bit? How can we challenge this a little bit to change the stability demands on my hip and my foot? So it's just basically playing around and saying, Okay, I can lean against the wall and get this soleus raise going here. So if we're looking down here at my soleus, you know, I'm just keeping the knee bent. I'm not bouncing. So we're in the sagittal plane, the front to back plane. Well, now I can challenge this in the coronal plane two different ways. So I can come into the wall and keep the knee bent and go through some raises this way, which is going to challenge some different musculature running along the inside of that leg. And then I can switch that around, same foot, lean against the wall and go through those same raises, challenging a little more of the things on the outside of my leg. Why is this important? So we do this with a lot of people where we'll give them soleus raises, send them home, they hit the endurance metric, and then we switch directions on them. You know, we put them in the, the challenging, the side to side plane, we just see them fall apart. So we always wanna ask the question of, well, maybe you didn't have a true strength issue if we see that the soleus endurance just pops on. So we do something for a week or two and it's just like, whoo! Because anytime we start lifting weights, we hit the gym, those first gains, all that strength gain, which is around, you know, anywhere from 10 to 25% of strength gains in that first two to three weeks of doing something new is largely neurologic. You're just getting better at the thing you're doing. So in this scenario, once we've gotten better at the thing we um, sent them home uh, for, the task has been accomplished. Now we wanna change the stability demands and make it novel. And that's all we're trying to do here is kind of give you a little bit different look at the same drill. So if you've done the soleus raise, you're looking to challenge that move dynamically before we even progress a little bit more, give this multi-planar soleus raise a try on your own. 